What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Rosh Reviews and today on the channel we are doing something a little bit different. We are actually here at Benzina Stables and uh, they've invited us down to check out their collection of cars they've got for sale. They've also got car storage facilities here. They've got a few crazy cars out the back we're going to look at and um, yeah, out here in Melbourne again guys. Let's go in, meet Christian and um, Yes, I want you guys to guess what you think the most expensive car is up front here and most expensive bike. So, here we go. Christian, welcome. Thank you so Hello. much for inviting us down. Pleasure. Welcome to Benzina and, Stables. Uh, yes, Benzina Stables. So, you've got some crazy cars in here. So, up the front, we've got some crazy stuff for sale. And then we've also got storage facilities out the back as well, which we might pick a... We'll have a, a look snake, at sneak peek. Uh, <laughs> We've got some crazy stuff out there, but we can't show everything out there. <laughs> we'll see some of the cool stuff, I promise. And um, yes, give us a bit of a walk around in here because you've got a bit of everything, which is what I like. Exactly. Anything Bikes as well, too. So. Bikes, yes. And no Teslas. Yes. Right. Sorry, hey, Tesla lovers. Smash lovers. the subscribe <laughs> like button for that comment. Absolutely. Yes, link for them down below as well. Go follow them for that comment. Oh, man. Absolutely. <laughs> So, so mate, I can see straight away we've got a GT. So we've got only 4,000 Ks on that one. 4,000 Ks. Oh my goodness. And it's manual, I think I saw it too, wasn't manual. it? So three pedal. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. So that is a collector's one for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've um, we've featured a few of these on the channel, guys, as you know, and yeah, it's the Miami engine in those is just phenomenal. So, the sound, super the sound is what we're not going to hear It's the supercharged, exactly, yeah, exactly. that noise, the noise out the back is wild. And then we've got a Camaro SS as well. I've reviewed one of them as well. Very cool cars. Beautiful color, that. Yeah, Such I do like blue. the blue. The blue is nice. Um, and then we've also got, what, a 1M? A bit of everything. It is a bit of everything. Yeah, XC63 yeah. down the back. And... Lancia Fluvia. Yes. Yeah. 1300 GDA Junior. MGB. And then something that your uh, followers would know. CVA dead, CVA. guys. Let's go. <laughs> um, yes, and these bikes, man. I swear, every bike I've been coming and looking at is just something insane. Oh, some oh. cool bike. <laughs> I don't even know what half of these bikes are, but I'm just so curious. Like, so this is an Aprilia, obviously. RSV Mille, which man. means a thousand, a thousand R in Italian. Wow. I know Aprilia's for, um, I think there were 250s they used to make that were the uh, some of the best. Yeah. yeah, beautiful bike. Absolutely. Learn illegal when I got my bike license and yeah, definitely a death trap of a bike. Absolutely a death <laughs> trap. So yes, again, run us, I guess, through some of these um, cars again and bikes. So we've got another classic down the back. That's a Maverick Grubber. So that's something you don't see often in, in Australia. Uh, oh. It's a Ford, a Ford Maverick called a Grubber. It's a V8. Uh, it's a very special car because it gets looks and it's actually, for a, an American muscle car, it's got like, European styling with soft curves and it's not, yes, as, I actually, not as American I as wasn't what, sure what it was, to be honest. Yeah. I was like, yeah, Mustang, Camaro, no, it's Grabber. Okay, Ford. Ford Grabber. And yeah, just very clean as well. Yeah, you got Absolutely. So we've got a Ferrari as well here. So this California. is V12. V12, yeah. Full Capristo exhaust. Naturally on aspirated, these it ones, is, eh? It is. It sounds. The Capristo exhaust. Sounds amazing, this one. Man. It's out of tune and it makes all the right noises and backfires and puts a big smile <laughs> on your face. <laughs> Might have to hear that one later, eh? Well, oh, I'm more than happy <laughs> to fire out. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
is wild. Yeah, that's a car that you definitely want to have the top down. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, you've got those uh, big paddle shifters as well. Yeah, that's a cool car. V12 NA. Pops and bangs like it should. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Beautiful. That's um It's like a work of art, you know? It is, it it's, is. They're stupid expensive, but when you got if you got the if you got the money, why not? It's like you can't replicate that you know exactly, what i mean like exactly. the noise especially with the top down you can only imagine they taking this thing to red line yeah. it's just next level put a smile on your face oh you'd be smiling a tesla ain't gonna put that smile nah, on your no face way. man no way no, no way, way. <laughs> oh yeah man, that's too good that's very cool mustang so 65 fastback that thing is cool uh lagoon red yes absolutely stunning color I don't see many of these either, to be honest. He's a good driver's car, this one. So the previous owner, female uh, driver, and used to get driven every weekend. Yeah, Rain, wow. hail, shine, maybe not hail, <laughs> but pick up the kids. Yep, very nice. Absolutely stunning car, so this one. So unique as well on the inside, like that leather. The rally pack the gauges and all the rest. And I've driven many, many Mustangs, but this drives amazing. Absolutely stunning driving car. These, these, are, these are ones I'm unfamiliar with, so we need European to get educated. Stuff. Because cool, cool. <laughs> I don't know it all, guys, I don't. And um, especially when you were talking, this looks to me like, what, 90s? Correct, correct. And so this um, is a 94. I love the wheels. Pretty update, the wheels definitely make this car. Yeah, I, I think the wheels look so cool on this car. And so this is a 324 valve. Yep. So the 500 SL obviously came with the V8, uh, where this was the, the straight six. So this is a straight six. Correct. More reliable yep. um, car. It hasn't got as much poke as the V8, but still a beautiful car, a lot more reliable, which is makes it a little bit more desirable as well, because you want yep. that 90s Mercedes, you can jump in this and know that it's just going to work every, and every time. Does this roof come off? Correct, so it's a hard top. So that comes off. I was just noticing the, the lines on the body there and I'm going, there's a slit up there as well on the A-pillar and... <laughs> yeah, and being red, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, yeah. Eddie Murphy, Be Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, yeah. One Every wiper blade too, interesting. I got the Z3M in the corner. Yes. In Dakar yellow, which is an extremely rare car, uh, color, especially in the, uh, the M convertible. What is that engine? What's the engine on that one? Straight six. Straight six. Three point two. Well. You gotta love BMW straight sixes. They um, this they're so good. Such a fun In car manual to drive. as well, guys. Look at that. Yeah. Sixty-four thousand k's. So wow. very low k's. This would be a driver's car, I'm sure, wouldn't it? Definitely, definitely. Absolutely. Short wheelbase. It's very snappy. Very, very tail happy. Yes. With the big six in it. Very cool. Very deceiving. You wouldn't yeah. expect such a big motor. Yes, I know. Well, it's a, a very little, little convertible. It's got a very big, um, like long front end on it, but it's it's yeah, the shape is cool. Now I know you're telling me about these uh, race cars as well before. So they're kind of like a kit race car. But exactly. So we've got a radical engines. So a Yamaha R1 and a G6R 1000, so <laughs> motorbike engines. <laughs> and you can see they're extremely low to the ground. I could just imagine, you know, I couldn't actually imagine because look how low that is to the ground. And the cockpit in here, you just... You should jump in. <laughs> That's crazy. That really is crazy. And the fact that you got an R1 engine right at the back, Correct. which would just be screaming. Exactly, exactly. That would Sequential be Sequential gearbox. So cool. Pulling gears. That would with be so with cool. a bit of aero so close to the ground. Yeah, and you've got that big wing on the back too, yeah. That's mad. Oh, mate, this is cool. And I also want us to have a look at this Subaru at the back because there is a very special Subaru. 
um, GC8, I believe you were saying. It is, triple five edition. Yes. Oh man, and yes, okay, we'll, we'll get to this GC8, but this Minaro, people are gonna be wanting to see. Absolutely looks mint, the paint, I love the color. It's good, exactly. And it's like, yeah, very bronze. I love the shape of this thing. I used to, uh, you know, I grew up in Canada, and when I came to uh, Australia, I was always like a little bit confused that everyone has four doors here. Yeah. Where, you know, it's, if it's a four door in North America, it was like, what, what is this? Like, <laughs> this is a family car then. So it'd be two doors. But since moving here, like, I, I fell in love with four door cars, but this one is still always kind of a beautiful shape. Yeah, I, I, I do like this coupe shape. And it always kind of surprises me that this was really the only two door they kind of come out with. So, Exactly. I think exactly. it would have, yeah, they could have done well, but I guess the Aussies like the, the four doors, so. The Aussies, they do, <laughs> they do. And unfortunately, Holden's no longer. I know, that's a real shame, isn't it? It is, it is. good and this thing right here guys this is beautiful two-door and I was admiring just all the badging on this car like you've got the 1996 um, like so this was when I guess to take it they won the world, world champion championship yeah for correct. rally correct. and the triple five on the seats uh, yeah you got the WRX sticker decals on the side as well the gold wheels and yeah guys nardi wheel just yep triple five on the seats there manual as you need it of course man factory uh intercooler sprayers factory uh split for the differentials and it's yeah pretty cool car for yeah the mid to late 90s because how do you know how many of these would have been made are they were they a limited car or? definitely a limited number yeah. to give you the exact number couldn't tell you but yeah the 22 yeah. b's obviously the one with the pump guards and the one we all all know yep um, yeah I, I do like this shape a lot i gotta say and this would be a 19 is it a 1996 then or this is a 90 yeah 96 yeah correct correct for when they've won that that championship as well i think so very cool i did tell everybody to have a guess at what the most expensive car was in here I think a lot of people are probably thinking it's that Ferrari. It's pretty close. expensive, but close. <laughs> yeah. close. it's a close second, I think, isn't it? There's more expensive stuff out the, at the back. There is more expensive stuff out the back, but at the front, I the reckon front, the Porsche 930 Turbo would take the cake. Yeah, you got to show me that thing. You know, I don't know much about Porsche, but I know they're expensive. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a look at Let's it. Go. And this bike as well, just as I'm walking by it. <clears throat> MV Agusta. Wow. Beautiful looking machine. That is a wild bike. Now this Porsche, it's got that classic shape to it, doesn't definitely, it? Definitely, definitely. So, so this is a 930 turbo. Yeah. Uh, 1980 four speed. Uh, Labeled the Widowmaker. Yes, wow. And I did not understand what that meant. Until, until you I, took it out for a drive. Took it for a drive. <laughs> yeah. It started hitting boost, is that right? Exactly. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was uh, nothing, Whoa. nothing, nothing, holy hell. Wow, like the back looks just wild. Absolutely looks wild. Actually, we Big had our photographer. guards on it. Our, our photographer was here and we're doing some lifestyle and you know, yep. he just wanted to get a bit of video of the car driving. And um, so he's jumped in the car, he's buckled up and he's taken off down the street. And he's just talking normally, and then he screamed through the phone, everything like that, and he won't give me the video because it's just hilarious. He screamed <laughs> like a little girl. Sorry, Betty. <laughs> oh, man, wow. And yeah, they've got serious brakes too on them, man, yeah. really. And um, what, again, what year was this, sorry? 1980. So 1980? 1980. Wow, so it's, it's really proper 80s supercar. Oh my goodness. Yep, showing 300 on the dash <laughs> in the 80s. In the 80s. <laughs> that is too cool, man. 
and it's got the proper 80s turbo lag. That's just... True. And yeah, you're saying four-speed manual there, yep. Explosive power. It's something that new cars, because they're so linear and the turbos these days have yep. no, almost no, no lag. Yep, like that new M2, in. zero lag. It's yeah, completely exactly. linear. But yep. it's, it's, yeah, nice to drive in like this, but it's just, like that. Yeah, I, I like turbo lag. I do, I do like it when you get that boost push. Like this is this is crazy. So this is an Aussie delivered car. Yep, and that all Slow makes model. a lot of difference, it doesn't does, it? It does. It does. So if it's if it's yeah, you don't want an imported one and have to convert the it. The purist doesn't want an import. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how you get Porsche big bucks, isn't it? Exactly. Really. Yeah. Exactly. All matching numbers, which his car is. It's got all the books. Uh, it's got a lot of history. It was actually the late Rob Raymer's car at one stage. Um, and it's, yeah, meticulously looked after. Yeah, that's an absolutely stunning car. Yeah, you got to think again, yeah, in 1980, um, this is what, a 43 year old car, like. <laughs> and it'll keep up with most things on the road today. It looks, it's <laughs> iconic, it's absolutely iconic. Yeah. And this you were saying again, what was it, 300 and. <laughs> yeah, something, 350. 350 K, guys, so yeah. I think the, the Ferrari was about 320 about, or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah correct, correct. So, yeah, that is, uh, it's a big price tag, but man, it's a special car, this thing. Definitely. And um, especially in the Porsche world, guys, uh, you know how much they spend on Porsches, so. Absolutely. Now, you were telling me you've got a Moto GP bike. Ducati. I want to see that. Desmo. Desmo <laughs> That was the biggest standout, I think, when I come in here, I went, oh my goodness, just like, the cars are nice, I was expecting that, but the bikes are like, and there's, there's quite a lot of bikes, yeah. There's like, not many people doing bikes and cars. So. No. Uh, these are two very special Ducatis. So we've got the Desmo here, which is basically a MotoGP bike for the street. Wow. They so come with factory street pipes, but this one's got the race pipe. The race pipe it. on the back too. Exactly, and exactly. And it shakes the whole building when we start it up. How loud it was as well when you turn it off even more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was going to say, because I was going to ask, like, do you know what the price would have been brand new for that thing? Yeah, they were 100, I think they were 110 and then $20,000 for the extra, the ECU and the, and the, the exhaust. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. And then they went down, so they, they, um, they depreciated a little bit over probably 2013 or 14, might yep. have been their lowest point, and they were at about 60 grand. Yeah, wow, well, yeah. You could get one up, like, you'd struggle to find one for Still 60. Still hard to but find, they were there, but, but yeah. They were there. Um, and now they're sitting at about 150 yeah. on average, I'd say. You know, some are asking, you know, 200, uh, but at about yeah. 150. That's got to be one of the yeah, most wildest bikes I've ever seen. I think, um, like personally, just being a motorcycle enthusiast and watching this space for a long time, I think these will be a half a million dollar bike in the next five to ten years. Yeah. They just haven't been done again. And, and going with the, with the way emissions are going. Yeah, and, electrification and... They're never going to build anything even remotely like this ever again. Yeah, no. you're, very, you're very right, actually. Yeah. That's why I have to. You think in another, <laughs> another 10, 15 years, and man, absolutely. Like, it's... Yeah. Wow, that is too cool. And you're going to give us a rundown as well on your... The Carbonara, Carbonara bike. Yeah, <laughs> Carbonara. <laughs> right. Yeah. We had a quick peek at it before, but now the man's here, um, you know, the bike not here now. So this is... So, um, yeah, this is pretty special. I mean, the, we've got them parked here, so to give you a contrast, that is how this bike started its life. So this is like an original... Original, this is a 99, that's the, the Carbonara is actually a 98, but they're exactly the same bike, bar stickers. Yep. Um, but that is, that's the shape, that's the parts, that's an original factory 3000k old 99R1. So that's really rare in itself to find something with that low of That's be it's beautiful condition. Yeah, the calipers haven't even come off that bike. They're the original tyres from new, not that I would ride it. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, it's just, yep. that's, that's as new as it gets. Collectors. Yeah. Um, this thing pretty much has every single part changed on it, bar the frame <laughs> and I think the headlights, even though they've been modified. I, I, <laughs> one day I was looking through it to try and figure out what hadn't been modified. Yeah. Um, because it's easier to just say what hasn't been modified than what has. But um, a couple of really noteworthy parts on this bike is uh, David Jeffries' Isle of Man winning race radiator. Wow. So this is the radiator that was on David Jeffries' Isle of Man winning bike. So it is lapped. The Isle of Man and one. <laughs> Far out. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Andrea De Vizioso's carbon fire, uh, Andrea De Vizioso's MotoGP calipers. So they're straight out of the back of the factory, the Repsol Honda um, <laughs> wow. garage. I could see you had those in carbon inlets to get the air into, yeah, yeah as well. That's just, yeah, that's just a little bit extra air. But these, these brake calipers were straight off the 2009 MotoGP bike of Andre De Vizioso. Far out. But we got a Harris um, World Superbike factory swing arm, which is a really special uh, piece of kit. Yep. Carbon fiber BST, carbon fiber wheels, you know, obviously full carbon fiber fairings. Uh, the wheels YEC. too, I didn't even realize the wheels, yeah. yeah. Uh, YEC carbon fiber um, world endurance tank, which is one of five. Um, to my knowledge, <laughs> every single nut and bolt bar internal engine nut and bolts are titanium or alloy. Wow. So we've got um, nitride, titanium nitride coated swing arm pivot axles, front axles, like everything's titanium. So the weight of this bike is about 150 kilos and it's got 189 wow. rear wheel horsepower. Wow. So built engine, you know, blueprinted <laughs> bottom end. Um, you know, high comp pistons, all that sort of stuff, cams, etc. This thing would covers. definitely scare you. It's grouse. Um, <laughs> it is. It is the. I I'd probably ride it way too hard when I ride it for what it is. I guess yeah. I don't think that it's something that I crash. I don't think you, about it when yeah, I ride it. Yeah. Um, but it just rides so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too cool, man. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, what a, what a what a build. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so Christian, we also have the back half of. Zena, so we've exactly. got storage here as well, so people can actually come and leave their cars here. You can maintain um, them for them. Yes, exactly. so, so you all guys... All cars are on trickle charges, unless the battery's are, uh, isolated. If the cu customer requests, uh, we start them up every six to eight weeks to, to keep them going, keep the fluids going, keep all the seals nice Absolutely. and soft, roll them back and forward. Yep. Um, and just, yeah, keep, keep them alive and have them ready for a beautiful weather's day like, like today is and come pick up the car. and. Away they go. Exactly right, and, that, and that's it, isn't it? So Correct. Yeah, I can see you've got them all plugged in and exactly. the nice so covers got, on everything. Correct, so you can see the C-Tech charger there. So all the, yep. all the cars are on C-Techs. The brand we work with very closely, an absolutely amazing charger. Absolutely. They do everything we need them to do. And no way, because yeah, 
They've actually been sponsoring me this week as well on the trip. Oh, so there you go. SeaTech is, uh, it seems to be the go. And definitely, um, definitely, definitely if you're storing the car for a little bit or it's not a daily, correct, definitely correct. need to get one. So Small plug it, for SeaTech. There's a lot yeah. of cars I can see. You've got a lot of covers <laughs> back here. So there are a couple of cool cars that we can see. And, um, but there's the, well, it took the covers off a 69 Fastback Mustang, which is a very special car. So I've taken the covers off for that with the owner's permission and uh, we'll go ahead and check that out. Let's now. have a look, man, because yeah, this thing is uh, beautiful. Um, there she is there. Unbelievable. And it was a Mark 1 too, is it? Correct, correct. So, wow. It was built in the States. It's spent most of its Aussie life in Queensland and recently come back down to uh, Victoria. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, that is probably one of the toughest, like... That's... 409 cubic inch. <laughs> Holy shit. Supercharger on it. Yo, on I didn't seven even... Pound. I was not expecting it to be that wild. Wow. <laughs> Yo. This would be an absolute weapon, wouldn't and it? As you can see, the, the paint on it is just so that's, straight for a black. That's it too. It's It's got the, the big wool, wheel wood brakes. Yeah, and the big fat wheels as well. The pizza cutters on the yeah, front. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, man, this is like drag spec almost. Jeez, like, absolutely beautiful. And that's, uh, that is too cool, man. Wild angry machine. Love how it's still got that wood grain steering wheel. Wow, Mach 1, Mustang. The louver on the back too, which I love. Wow. Because you know what the power is on that, dude, by chance? Because like, I thought yeah, it was that around thing the is, 700 horsepower mark. I was going to say, this thing has yeah. got to be just absolutely crazy. And in a, a light old car like this, Correct. it would just be terrifying. Be good I think. In a straight line. In a straight line, yeah. Maybe <laughs> on, on, the, on a okay. drag strip or something with some good traction. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because, yeah, I don't know. These probably wouldn't weigh that much either. Like a lot of these older muscle cars, they weren't really that heavy. No, they weren't. So. They weren't. Considering how much metal there is and no plastic. Yeah, um, it's, um, the weights weren't as uh, stringent back then. That's for sure. Wow, that's a car, man. That that engine bay is just beautiful. That's insane. The cr like wow, that's a big blower. The bikes you got here, there's just so many bikes. There's bikes everywhere. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> there's bikes everywhere. All right, now you're going to show us something quite special here as well. So, uh, BMW, this and this is one of my cars. your personal car, one of your personal cars, is correct, it? Yes, correct. cool. And something I've been building with my father for about five years. Um, we took it out to Calder for Shake It Down uh, two weeks ago. Um, and something that your viewers will probably like, because there's a lot of European things on this uh, video, but... There is, but there is another... The fart. LS. LS the world. Absolutely, man. So it's an LS2, full built motor. Wow. What's it make? Uh, 300 at the wheels. Kilowatts, yeah? Kilowatts at the wheels, yeah. That's healthy, man. And these, is, this wouldn't is. weigh anything because, again, it's fully stripped. It's got a big cage on it. Um, wow. Yeah, the exhaust at the back there. Jeez. That's a cool car, man. That must be a Kate. blast on track. Oh, it's very, very tail happy. It was a <laughs> lot of fun. A lot of it fun. It would be, yeah. Because you guys, yeah, look, it's full full race back here. But still a manual, which it's is great too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah this must be a blast to get out. Yeah. Very tight to get in though, I imagine. <laughs> Very cool. Too good, man. And you guys like, you, you guys race with this one as well, that's a separate race car. Yeah, man, this is a... Uh... It's, it's quite the facility you got here, man. So Thank you very much. Man, again, like, thanks for showing us around. Pleasure. Thanks um, for coming out. Yeah, and again, guys, remember, 
I'll leave a link to them down below in the description. Go check them out They're on Definitely. Instagram, all socials. Yeah, so. Preston, stop by. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and there seems to be always something going on here. So it's really cool. Again, thank you so much for having Pleasure. me. Thank you for and, coming. And uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, Definitely. hit the like button. We'll see you on the next um, video. Okay, guys.